a short message actually from somebody on stating that um, Iron Sky 2, the movie, just made a video clip or a trailer and uh, that it had my symbol on it and that they had viewed my channel. But I believe that the makers of Iron Sky, they found this information online, these documents online depicting this uh, truth or possible truth. I believe for them that it's just a pocus pocus uh, myth, legend, or that it was all fabricated. But I believe that to be truthful, these documents, and that the Imperial Germans are real, and that uh, the Earth is hollow, and that even Hitler believed that the Earth was hollow. I suggest you watch this video here on YouTube, and uh, that uh, uh, depict this uh, a possible reality, and uh, that uh, depict this possible reality that the Earth might be hollow, that there are uh, entrances on the North and South Pole. Uh, Admiral Richard Evelyn's bird's Operation High Jump, just Google that to watch my video on the subject, Admiral Richard Evelyn Bird and his uh, Rita's Diary and other myths and legends of a possible hollow earth or a song called uh, Shangri-La. Uh, I made a video about the earth's mapped interior, I suggest you also watch that. And this book by Marshall B. Gardner, uh, Journey to the Earth's Interior, is a really good book because it systematically approaches you with the possibility that the Earth might be hollow. And it does this in a scientific manner. Uh, it, a Journey to the Earth's Interior can be found online. It is from 1920, Marshall B. Gardner, sacredtexts.com, um, Marshall B. Gardner, and um, it is a systematic approach to it. I'm gonna add the video of this, a part of the video from Iron Sky 2 because I like the way they actually rendered the inner world although I believe that it is even farther away uh, that the curvature is uh, a lot greater uh, less, uh, that the curvature is a lot less because uh, the earth mantle is only 800 kilometers thick according to these uh, um, alternative theories What I don't like, of course, is that they depict Hitler as some evil reptilian dinosaur, riding a dinosaur, and that he's evil. But you can't create a movie and portray these uh, uh, evil Nazis as normal or good, actually, uh, because you've been programmed for your entire life to believe that the Third Reich and its uh, leader out of Hitler was the most evil empire in the world that gassed six million Jews. Uh, another part of the deep programming is revisionist history. I suggest you go to vho.org VHO and research the truth on that. So the Imperial Germans and my eyes are the good guys in the struggle. They don't want to kill everybody all off, but they want to save this world from the Zog elites that want to instigate the world war and reduce the global population down to 500 million people according to the Georgia Guidestones. I believe that uh, they will fail or be foiled in their plans to instigate this one third world war, to implant the one world government as uh, laid out in the uh, protocols of the learned elders of Zion by this imperial Germans, by this third power and the, uh, and the manifestation of Vishnu, Kalki Avatar, the third Sargon or so-called Jesus Christ figure at the end of time. Now I don't know when this is going to happen. But we know that these crafts are out there and that they're actually working on the atmosphere and doing a lot more. And we know uh, that the uh, Zog elites are doing also their plans. I watched Iron Sky 1 and I wasn't really happy because they didn't take it seriously. At the same time I was happy that they actually made videos depicting saucer type craft with uh, Germans in it and Nazis actually. And uh, I followed the making of it, but then I watched the movie to, uh, in the, well, uh, at the movies, and uh, I was to actually, I, 
couldn't laugh really because it was so stupid actually it was multiculturalist anti uh, third reich anti-nazi propaganda to the max uh depicting these uh, imperial germans as barbarians idiots uh, morons for thinking uh, in racial hygiene and racial breeding that's another topic racial uh, hygiene and racial breeding every race should implement their natural laws upbreed their population the best and the the best of the best should actually have the most children in such, such respect that the, the folk body remains healthy and don't degenerate. Um, this should be implemented. There is normal hygienic hygiene and in the nature the weak, ill, sick do not procreate. And we have the choice. We have to implement this consciously. But if you speak out on this topic like euthanasia or steril sterilization, um, you get practically a look at really weird upon and say that you're racist for thinking like that. But it is normal to have a healthy folk body. A healthy folk body that if you upbreed a population in the course of hundreds if not thousands of years you will get a really beautiful people, a really really healthy people. If you implement the natural laws. Just imagine practically a society where everybody is naturally good looking. And the average IQ, the Gauss curve, is actually more upward because the most intelligent and intellectuals were actually also healthy, should be healthy at the same time, not some small geeky nerdies. But the real, natural, most healthy and most intelligent will have the most children, creating practically a natural leadership or nobility. Well, there is a Gauss curve on the intelligence quotient, and in an operated society, this curve would move to the right. More and more people would be more intelligent because the intelligent intellectual elites would get the most children and at the same time an equilibrium or balance would be achieved where practically the overall intelligence of the people are is high enough or reaches a balanced state and stays that way when there is practically a natural elite or natural nobility leading the people. Well this was my video on Iron Sky. I pretty much liked uh, the scene in the inner earth where you can actually look into the inner earth and even the sun. I don't know how it is in real. In real, this is depicted by Admiral Richard Everlum Burris' diary, if you can download it online. They go into the inner earth by the inner, the, by the northern and southern extremities. There are two entrances around 800 kilometers wide, and that the curvature is so low that you don't even notice that you're actually going to the inner earth. And the, the gravity also changes. Uh, accordingly, so you can take a boat or walk inside into, into this uh, huge 800 kilometer opening and without seeing actually the curvature, the only thing that you do see is out of time uh, the other side, partially I believe, and of course the sun appearing at your horizon. It's difficult to see this, uh, there are two suns for one certain moment because the inner sun then shines and the outer sun as well, or it's dark could also be that it's only one sun shining but uh, nevertheless this was a great video uh, uh, portraying the possibility of the hollow earth and I suggest you read the, the book by Marshall Gardner uh, uh, um, uh, uh, A Walk to the Earth's Interior by Marshall B. Gardner um, I'll post a link below or download it and read it on your Kindle and it's a really really interesting book in the 1920s and it systematically approaches you with this hollow earth theory and in a scientific manner, he explains the official view back then and says in his own words what is wrong with it or what, what could be it and what is the reality or possible reality. Cheers! I suggest you watch my video uh, The Imperial German Survival Myth on YouTube to understand practically that Iron Sky bases itself on a real myth or truth uh, about the Imperial Germans building these Hanupu spacecraft. Or check out my video on the, the mapped inner earth. Alex on the mapped inner earth to understand uh, what I about the so-called hollow earth as well.